Thank you for joining me. This is Tim DeLeo with usingwindowshomeserver.com. In this video, I will show you how to install and operate the Lights Out add-in for Windows Server codename Veil. The original Lights Out was an award-winning add-in for Windows Home Server V1. In fact, Lights Out for Veil and Aurora provides the same functionality as Lights Out for Windows Home Server V1. Both share a common core and a common code base, but this new version implements a new user interface based on the Veil dashboard. This add-in is currently a technical preview and not a finished product for Windows Server codename Veil and Aurora. The Lights Out add-in can help you control your Windows Server codename Veil with power management to run your server on demand, client backup to run a scheduled backup and use Wake on LAN, and the uptime chart to give you a graphical overview of device activity on your network. Now that we know about the Lights Out add-in, let's get started with the installation. The first thing you want to do is double click on the WSSX file from your desktop. The add-in will validate itself and start the installation process. Enter in the administrator password for your Veil server. Click on Next. Read the software license term, then click on Accept. Now you can either install only on the server or on the server and all the computers on the network. I would suggest at this point using the second option, click on Install the add-in, and the add-in will install. You can always later, if you only choose to install it on the server, push the add-in out to the other computers. At this point, it's easier though to have it installed on any of the computers that are currently running on your Veil network. And it takes a little under a minute for the add-in to install. And the add-in installation was completed successfully. Click on close and the add-in is now done. You can see now also it shows in the launch pad that one of the add-ins is being pushed to the computer from the Lights Out add-in. This will continue in the background and it will happen automatically. You can now trash the add-in and continue on. Now, if you're getting onto a computer that does not already have the add-in installed, open up the dashboard and push the add-in to this computer. Let me show you how it's done. You want to click on Add-ins. You want to find the add-in. And on the right-hand side, you can see it says install the add-in on computers on the network. This is also the area where you can renew the subscription or even remove the add-in. We're going to install the add-in on computers on the network. And again, this will push it out to the network. I will click on install. And I will click on close. And now what will happen is, is that it will push out the add-in to the computer that's on the network. You can see down here at the bottom, it shows that the launch pad is doing the installation and you're now complete. After the add-in has been installed on Veil and been pushed out to the PCs, when you log into Windows Server through the web interface, you'll now see that you have a special area for Lights Out. You can move this as you see fit, moving into different areas around the screen. Now you may notice that you only have a few computers out of all the computers that are on your network. Click on View All Computers, and this takes you to a listing of all the computers that are available. You can see that I currently have two computers that are on. It shows the IP addresses and the MAC addresses. It shows I have one computer available for wake up, and it shows that two that have not been set up through the system yet. To wake up a computer, click on the wake up button and wait for between two to three minutes for the system to boot up. 
Again, your system must have the ability to wake on land to wake up. Once you've installed the add-in and then push the software out to your clients, click on the Lights Out icon. The first tab gives us six areas, Status, Monitored Sources, Calendar Events, License, Power Saving, and Recorded Events. To start, let's click on Lights Out Settings. You have three tabs. You have Options, which allows you to show your chart settings and use a simple energy conversion by entering in the wattage that your system uses. You can get this by plugging in a kilowatt meter. Sleep Mode, and then putting in how much you pay per kilowatt hour. There's also monitoring. I'm choosing to monitor my clients, remote access, and to keep it on during the backup times. There's also an action tab which allows you to set do nothing or to shut down and the delay time. The next tab gives you your calendar which gives you any of your items. You can also add a new item to the calendar. The uptime chart shows you the uptime of each of your PCs. You can see on the right hand side I have the PCs that are connected to my Veil test box and you can see each one of these is color coded. So here's my home server. You can see it gives you the time per day just by mousing over. You can also see when I've started other PCs. For example, I started this one. You can also see when the system were on and off. For example, it shows that I'm in remote access right now. It shows I jumped in at 11.32. This is a nice setup so I can see who's in my server and what's going on. So you can see that my Dell 15 is currently on in the garage. It is still running, so it does not have an end time, where my 140G was on for the two hours and 40 minutes. And again, it's nice to be able to see when you remote into the system, so you can highlight any of these different areas. For example, I was on yesterday from 109 to 524 p.m. Then you have the Computers tab. Now, I had already scanned my network for new devices, and as you can see here, I have quite a bit of devices. I have my four tuners that I have for my silicon dust, and then I have my ATI tuner. I have different computers in different locations. Uh, for each computer, when you click on it, it will give you the ID, the IP address, the MAC address. So it's nice to be able to have this. For example, the computer that I'm on right now has two LAN ports, so it's going to show the different MAC addresses for each of those. It gives you the status, so if you wanted to look and see which computers are on, you can also see that. You can also right mouse click and view the device properties. That will allow you to make changes. For example, I can enable monitoring. I can have it wake up at a specific time, deal with backup, and then the settings, which means again I can suspend, shut down, reboot, and use some of the time-saving techniques for this add-in. It's also easy to see computers that have been connected through Veil, through the connector, and through the add-in. You can see those have the check boxes here. Gray if they're not on, green if they are on. It also shows that the client was installed on these machines. These two machines have not been connected yet, and you can see it does not show the client installation on there. Also, going back to the status, you can see it actually gives you the recorded events. For example, I had to do a service stop and a boot up on the 30th, and then I did a shutdown and then a restart also on the server. So it's nice to be able to keep track of all of these. I can see this add-in being a great utility for those people that use this in a business environment and need to keep track of all of the different components of power saving and of business management.